continues to track legal marijuana sales in Washington state. Supply and have trailed far behind demand in the first several days of sales. You know, it's now been 10 days mm -hmm. since the legal sale of marijuana began in Washington, but many retail outlets are still dealing with empty shelves. They don't have any pot product. Right. Well, we've seen the enormous, enormous lines outside of those stores. You know, demand continues to be much greater than supply. So we wanted to know why that's still the case and how that happened to begin with. Tim Becker goes beyond the headlines with a visit to a local grower. I'm inside the only legal facility in Clark County where the growers tell me it takes about 10 weeks from when a plant first seeds till it ends up in a retail outlet. You can start to see all the frosty crystals on there, and that's what we call sweet leaf. We'll keep that for processing. With Brian Stroh's farm ramping up towards peak production, we just flowered all these off. He showed me up close just how involved the marijuana growing process is. This is getting it ready for the next step. Dry trimming, the last step before testing and then packaging for retail stores, where buyers are snapping it up just as fast as it hits the shelves. What those retailers can sell through uh, in comparison to what we can provide, there's just too wide a disparity right now. If we'd have been started a little bit earlier, we wouldn't have the issue right now. He tells me he'd produced only about four pounds when stores opened July 8th, partly because the state hit a speed bump in licensing plans. But what happened, was it, it was about a six week period of time where there were a number of us that were ready to be licensed that we were suddenly on hold until they figured out how to rectify the situation. He tells me that and the July 8th start for selling were simply out of his business plan. We weren't geared for full production. We were still geared for creating the farms. Canaman Farms, he says, is finally reaching its potential. But ultimately, it'll be the outdoor crops that'll help keep store shelves stocked. Outdoor growers have the ability to, to grow very large plants, um, and they'll bring some more weight in. And that's going to be the 1st of October, mid-October. Um, until that point in time, you're not going to see a lot of stabilization because as we bring on new producers, we're also bringing on new retailers. The trichromes are just really big. This is going to be a very delicious plant. In another month, his output will be 10 times greater at 30 pounds, where he wished it was before stores opened. How often are you contacted by retailers looking for Daily. product at this point? Are Daily. You? Stores are continuing to open, so we'll keep an eye on the supply chain and let you know when it's finally meeting demand. In Vancouver, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.